Welcome back to my series, Dance Mums Uncovered. The police got called many times during the filming of Dance Mums. Many of these calls seemed unnecessary and the situations were edited to make it seem like the drama escalated extremely quickly. So today we're going to be looking at all the unseen causes and consequences of these phone calls. Because there was more to the situations where the police got involved than the producers cared to show. Feel free to share your thoughts on the following evidence. First, let's look at Dawn versus Abby. The very first episode of Dance Mums also featured the very first instance where the police were called in to deal with an issue. In reality, this situation happened during the third week of filming, but the producers wanted more drama in the first episode to attract viewers to the show. On the show, we see Dawn enter the studio and march straight into Studio A to yell at Abby, but there was a lot of missing context leading up to this confrontation. That day, Dawn had received phone calls from several other kids and mums because Abby was berating Reagan to the point where she was hysterical. She had just finished up a class that was rehearsing a number where the dancers needed to wear socks. Reagan ran straight to her next class because kids at the ALDC would get in trouble if they were late for classes. Reagan didn't have time to take her socks off before entering the studio and Abby harassed her for it saying that she wasn't professional enough to be on TV. I got calls from uh, Reagan's friends that Reagan was hysterical. Other moms called me and said, you better get in here. Abby's gone after Reagan. There are dances where the girls wore socks. Reagan didn't get her socks off fast enough. And right, and, and you had Abby, to scoot in class because you couldn't be 13 milliseconds late. You would get in trouble. Um, Abby just simply said to me you, that I wasn't professional enough to be on TV. She didn't tell me whether I should change uh, and come back. She just said, get out. According to the production notes, she had been called in to join the girls, especially for this week's dance, Ups and Downs. As she was changing her socks, Abby told her that she was stupid and said if your mum really loved you, she would take you to the children's hospital to find out why you're so stupid. And we all know that Abby is capable of this nastiness because she says it to Paige later in the series. Reagan has an autistic brother and often had to attend his doctor's appointments, so the comment really hurt her. On this same day, they claim that Abby also called Reagan fat. In fact, in an extended version of this scene, you can hear Reagan yell at Abby, you called me fat. Abby also said to her, as she was changing her socks, how stupid are you? If your mother loved you, oh my God. she would take you to Children's Hospital to find out why you're so stupid. So Reagan grew up with a brother who's autistic, and her entire life, you know, she is spending doctor's office and therapy appointments for her brother. But it hits Reagan even deeper because... Sure, well, sure. Like, that's sensitive, of course. And Abby kept going after Reagan, called her fat. You called me fat! Dawn didn't think that the producers were going to film her because she wasn't chosen for the show. It was supposed to be a docu-series at this point, which is why she didn't hesitate before barging into the studio. Abby made some snarky remarks about Dawn that were edited out of the scene, mocking her religion and her job, saying, what kind of church would accept someone like you? When I came in and said to Brian, I don't care if you're filming, I wasn't thinking they were going to turn the cameras on me because I wasn't the chosen mom. She made some snarky remarks about me being a pastor Mm -hmm. And, you know, what kind of church would accept someone like you? After the police were called, Abby told production that Reagan was asked to change out of her sweats but never came back. Abby then reports the incident to the police, getting Kathy to join her to back up her story. It turns out that one of the officers who arrived at the scene had a daughter who took dance classes at Abby's studio. Next, let's explore season three drama. In season three, episode two, the mum sat in the parking lot and Abby called the police. The show makes it look like the mums are protesting for Kelly to return to the studio. However, they were apparently there to protest against the producers to give them higher pay. 
Abby reports them for trespassing on her lot, and a Penn Hills police car shows up. It seems like she waits until after she calls them to organise a new team. However, looking at the outdoor electronic sign out the front of the ALDC building, Abby had already chosen her replacement team quite a while before the police arrived. As far as we know, the mums leave as soon as the police arrive. Although there could have been some sort of confrontation that was edited out. In this scene, you can see Melissa holding objects with brand names up to her face so that the producers have to blur it. After the infamous water fight of season three, episode seven, Abby filed a police report against Kathy. Kathy says she had no idea that this had even happened, so clearly there wasn't any kind of follow-up after the report was made. I went to the police station and filed a report against you after that. Did you really? Right after the New Orleans street brawl between Christy and Leslie during the week of season three nationals, Christy called the police. We get to see an extended clip of her doing so during the season three reunion, Hurricane Abbey. Christy goes on to say that she and Kelly explained the whole situation to them and decided not to press charges. The officers had recommended that Christy should get a restraining order because Leslie had been threatening to end her life. And that's why I didn't go through. Like I walked, I talked to them, but Kelly was in there with me and I explained the entire situation to them. This woman no, first. The police actually wanted me to take a they restraining totally order on you because they wanted to. you threatened to kill me. You know in contrast, Leslie says that the fight was planned because production had Peyton teach the number to Ali in their hotel room. Apparently, Christy wanted to go on summer vacation with her family and was supposed to throw wine in Leslie's face at Kelly's house. But Leslie picked up on it and it didn't happen. Allegedly, Christy told Brian Stinson that she would get it done, getting drunk and causing a scene in the street. Leslie claims that she herself was not drunk and that her reaction was real because she didn't know about the plan. This by no means justifies her response though. She scratched the neck of one of the producers who had jumped in because they could see that she was getting violent when Christy provoked her. That was planned because why would they have you teach her that number in our hotel room? She was supposed to throw wine in my face no, and start not a fight yet. at Kelly's and it never happened. I kind of picked up on it so but so when we went to New Orleans... She wanted to go on summer vacation. She wanted to go away, and she told... Uh, Brian. Brian. Who's our producer. Stinson, that... Hi, Brian. She would get it done. So when she was drunk, and I wasn't, mm -hmm. she was drinking so much that day, her and Kelly, and they were causing a huge scene. Oh, poor Alan's neck. The next day, I was like... Oh. I felt so and bad. Then you're like Evidence number three. Abby versus Kelly. The fight between Abby and Kelly in Season 4, Episode 7 is widely regarded as the worst fight in Dance Mums history. In response, Abby called the police, reporting an assault. Kelly insists in court documents that she was willing to stay and talk to the police, but that the producers rushed her out of the building, telling her that she needed to leave or she would be arrested. She believes that they did this intentionally so that a warrant would be put out for her arrest. Kelly contacted the police and turned herself into the station, where she was interviewed and released without bail. She later had to go to court to attend an arraignment. Abby stood outside the court, confirming that she did press charges against Kelly in an interview conducted by TMZ. The accompanying article also confirmed Kelly's claim that Lifetime had cameras outside the courts to film for the show. She alleges that the producers tried to get her to appear in the same location as Abby, despite not legally being allowed to be near her. 4. Kathy vs ALDC Mums Many of the Candy Apples mums tweeted back in 2012 that Christy attacked Kathy after season 2 nationals. This was shown and discussed during reunion episodes in seasons 2 and 3. According to the mums, the ALDC had been chanting at them, mocking them for their loss. We see this in the reunion, and also that Kathy tossed water at Christy. This is where the clip stops, but apparently Christy retaliated by hitting Kathy. The mums claim that the police were called, but Christy fled the scene before they arrived. One of the Candy Apples mums, Barb, says that Kathy filed a police report but we know that she didn't officially press charges because of what Abby said in the season three reunion. 
and I turned around and threw the water at her. And then she did this. Do you know, if you watch the show, this is always in people's noses. I slapped her hand away and she came after me. And I had bruises on my clavicle bone. Well, she you fell off the curb. Well, she pushed me off the curb. But she didn't come after she, you. Yeah, she most certainly did. She pushed me right into a tree. And I told you you should have stood the crap out. During season five, episode 18, Kathy aggravated Jill by taking her phone. Kathy and Abby had been fighting, with Abby insulting Vivianne. She says that she took Jill's phone because sometimes the mums would take and post videos of her bickering to try and make her look crazy. Kathy says that the ALDC called the police, but when they arrived, they thought it was just a funny television situation. According to the production notes from that episode, Abby was the one who called them and tried to get Jill to file a police report. But they were notorious for holding up their phones and videoing and then they'd slap it on Facebook or they'd slap it on Instagram or they'd slap it on Twitter and make it look like, oh my God, you were this awful person. And I just grabbed the phone right from her and went. So that whole episode was a lot of fun because they called the police on us and we were howling because the police were howling too, because they were like, okay, this is a TV show. Like, what are we going to do here? And finally, we have season eight drama. Abby was all too eager to call the police during this season. Unfortunately, not much information has been shared about why she called the police on Michelle in episode 10, but we do know why Abby filed a police report against Tammy during nationals. Abby has since claimed that she was verbally assaulted by Tammy and that her appearance caused her to flinch in her seat. She also declared that she was assaulted and poked in the chest by Tammy during a previous week and never had the chance to file a police report. So when this second situation happened, she left the competition and filled out a report about the first incident. While this perhaps seems like an overreaction, Abby claimed in an interview with Tony Moore that Tammy has had a violent past. I was verbally assaulted. A lot of people commented that they saw me actually like jump. I was physically assaulted, poked in the chest, bang, 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 at a competition. I had to fly out the next morning, so I never got to the police station. I had to fill out a police report about the first incident anyway, so that's what I did. I didn't yeah. want a confrontation. This uh, person has been known to be violent, to oh. attack. Oh, yes. yeah. Uh, to yeah. stick her finger in my face and point to me. And this is 20 years ago. This isn't even on a show. If this is true, it's a little more understandable why she tried so hard to stay away from her. So what do you guys think? Do you think the police needed to be called in all of these instances? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.